And good afternoon. We continue to track the tropics here at CBSMiami.com. I'm meteorologist Liz Horton with the latest update on Tropical Storm Nate. Here are the latest stats as of the 11 a.m. advisory. 50 mile per hour sustained winds. Pressure is at 996 millibars. It's moving north northwest at 21 miles per hour, so it's picked up speed. Currently 175 miles southeast of Cozumel. It is expected to possibly clip the eastern Yucatan Peninsula later this evening before moving out into the Gulf of Mexico. It It'll spin Saturday, churning at sea with all that warm water, which will help it to strengthen to a Category 1 storm. It should likely make landfall there between New Orleans and Pensacola as a hurricane early Sunday morning. Once it does, it will quickly start to dissipate as it interacts with land and move on to the north and east, causing quite a bit of rain. Wind certainly going to be a factor as well, especially for those who are there in the path of the center of the storm. Hurricane warnings have now been issued from those sections of New Orleans over towards Mobile, Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. A tropical storm warnings for those that are just north and west of New Orleans. Storm surge warning in effect as well from Morgan City over towards Mobile some spots could be in trouble there with six to nine foot inundation expected. Not good news for those folks there. Not only will they see storm surge, they'll likely see quite a bit of heavy rainfall. Uh, so we can certainly see three to six inches of rain throughout most of the area. Some spots could see up to 12 inches and those hurricane force winds could be up to 95 miles per hour sustained and gust even stronger. We will get the latest forecast right out for you anytime we can. You can track the tropics at cbsmiami.com any day. Thanks again for logging on. Have a great one.